Smell the butt. <laughs> like you're another dog. They bite me. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> oh. oh, look how friendly they are. Oh, they just want attention. Hello, little kid. Hello. Hello. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Hey. Oh, hey, little cutie. See. <laughs> hey, little fruit bats. It's really the banana girl here. Welcome to another episode. I am currently in traffic here on my way to get a photo shoot done with Daily Mail. So I'm pretty excited about this. You know, I don't know what to expect. I've never really done photo shoots before. So this is a little bit of a new adventure, which is great. I like new adventures. Um, and I'm excited because I have another week of vlogs. You know, actually, I really miss them over the weekend. But I know that it's more sustainable if I have do have a couple of days off during the week. But I'm back again and we're gonna do another week. So it's gonna be good. All right, hopefully I can get some footage from the photo shoot and post it, so stay tuned. Here I am in a sea of fruit. I'm doing a photo shoot for um, Daily Mail. I've got the wonderful photographer James behind the camera right now. And yeah, it's going good. I'll see you soon. So here's the masterpiece here. If it gets like that, you can just mix it up. I mean, seriously, that is all head. That is all the foam on the top. Of the drink <laughs> that's incredible wow look how foamy that is yum i'm gonna enjoy this and it's the reason it's this foamy is because the dates are so fresh and i blended them for quite a while and also the peppermint drops do make it a little bit more foamy and i like it like that like a creamy what are you doing just talking someone someone got angry that i, I didn't sort of reply to their comment and that i'm a bad person I'm trying to explain I'll get between 2 and 6 million views per month across my 10 YouTube channels. Yeah. don't have time to answer everyone's, everyone's questions. That's why I keep making videos. I like that. I like um, Banana Nanana, -na -na, Total Blam Blam. <laughs> I think they changed their name, I'm not sure, but yeah, I, like I recognize it. that picture. I like how down to earth they are. How are you doing? Oh, my little child. Ooh. My little fur baby. She's a little crazy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's all about the clicks. Okay. Oh, little fixie. Little fixie. Little fixie. How you doing, my little fixie? You like to lick everything, don't you? Everything needs to be licked by Figsy. She gives it the lick of approval, don't you, Figsy? <laughs> lick of approval. <laughs> Jiren Raya doesn't get the lick of approval from Pigsy. You get the snort of disapproval. Okay, so we're on the way to dinner again. Oh, Jiren Raya. Again. 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 <laughs> oh my god. We ate, we ate out a lot. We got to support the local vegan establishments. Well, well, lately we've been eating out a lot more. We have been, and it is a bit of fun. I reckon I've eaten out more this year 
the perhaps more life. I reckon. Yeah. Especially when I was in Thailand. Every Thailand did eat, eat out every night. I remember when I used to plan like an eat out, I would starve myself for a couple of days like beforehand. Yeah. I'd restrict my calories. And then when I'd eat out, I'd go and throw it up afterwards. Wow, that's a waste of money. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god, now I, I just smash it in. I don't do any of this calorie restriction beforehand and there's definitely no vomiting. So it's like... Carve it up. It's just win-win on every level. Carve it up. Live it hard. Yeah. Living with passion, helping people overcome things, helping people help themselves overcome things. Yeah, that's right. I was Energy. thinking about Thailand too. Um, Tantric sex you're talking about. <laughs> Tantric sex. Yeah, yeah. Tantric sex. remember, remember when we <laughs> you're such a little uh, just a little troll face. Um, so we went to Thailand in we've been nearly every year for like ten years or something, but uh, we went to Thailand in what year was it that the Tantric yoga sex thing? I don't know, it was a good time though. We were on Koh Phangan Island. It was like uh, 2010 or something whatever. like that. Dates yep. irrelevant. We had yeah, but it's you know, I wanna set the tone. Um, <laughs> we had this house we were paying like two dollars each a day. Oh, we, we had like a, a fruit house, we it's called it. It's pretty cheap. Derek, yeah. Derek organised. There's like a bunch of us and we are paying like two dollars um, a day. It was really good. And there was this yoga place close by and it was a tantric yoga place. Yeah. And I, you know, I've heard of tantra, tantra before, but I really didn't know anything about it. But we got to learn about it, didn't we, Jiren? Right? We did it. We got some um, training. Well, not like... <laughs> Some hands on. <laughs> got some hands on. Hands in. Yeah, it was, and I mean, I had a good experience because I think it, it brought us even closer yeah. together. Like we definitely got more like. I, I learned that the biggest intense. the biggest erogenous zone is actually the mind. Yeah. You know. Yeah, definitely. The greatest aphrodisiac is emotions. Oh, that's deep. It's deep. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> It was, it was, yeah. And the tantric thing, um, I mean, what can we say about the biggest that? biggest turn like, on is anticipation. Yeah, Guys, anticipation, really definitely. And what about um, that subliming thing? Yeah, well, because... Uh, subliming I'll, is when you don't... Don't ejaculate. Ejaculate. But I've, had, I've had a vasectomy, so you you can be ejaculating and still be subliming because you're not losing any sperm. So it's, just, it's a win-win with ejaculate. Uh, the, the section, I mean, even the tantric, tantric guru of the, the Agama yoga place, he was saying, yeah, but I mean, technically the section is the way to go because you can get your rocks off but still not lose your osiers because you're a better vasectomy. That's but why. It was think, interesting when he did hold it back though. That was hard though, wasn't it? Yeah, yes, it was. At the time, it was very difficult. I remember Drew and I having a bit of trouble with well, that. Anything <laughs> here in life. Yeah, well, especially that, like when it's not natural to no, hold it back, natural. you know, you should be letting it go, really. That's the one thing that the sect me, get that. But yeah. the, that's a good kind of, um, Best of both I think, good control of that it department. It is, it is a good mental control. I mean, it comes here from here, of course. All like. comes from the mind. All comes from the mind, pun intended. All comes from the mind. Um, he's such a punny guy. So punny. So yeah, no, it's good. So, yeah, I think it was a good experience and we actually met a lot of people who were into the vegan lifestyle. Fruit was, living? Yeah, into fruit living, made a lot of good friends. It was an international place. Made a few crackpots as well. A few crackpots. One guy actually committed suicide. Yeah, one guy killed himself. This calorie restricted guy was trying to say sugar's bad. He was doing Dr. Young's protocol. Killed himself, hung himself in a police cell. That was awful. French guy, unfortunate. And a lot of people like you know, fall off their motorbikes there too. You know, Westerners go over oh, to Thailand yeah. and they crack their heads open because they want to be like the Thais. So the Thais have been on bikes since they're six months old. You know, yeah. they're very, very experienced. And um, so the Westerners come over there, don't wear a helmet, they have an accident and one girl was in a coma. Yeah, that's right, far out. Like one of the teachers was put into a coma, or went into a coma. I mean, most of the deaths of tourists in Thailand are from motorbike accidents. Yeah, I think that's the same as like um, in Greece as well. Wear your helmet. Mykonos. Wear your fucking helmet. Yeah. You know, safety first. Yeah, and if you want to like check this place out, it's called Agama Yoga. And I, I thought it was a good experience. It's not something that I want to do all the time, but it definitely brought us closer. It was a bit of fun. There it are some sleezes there though. So, so girls, be warned, there are sleezes at these tantric places. So There's some nice people as well, but there's a lot of hornbag sleezes. So. Be discerning. Be discerning.
Yeah. And I think a lot of people, I mean, these guys can be seen as horn bags too, because like the whole tantric thing can be seen as a yeah. bit like a porn thing. But yeah. I think that there's a good side to it. it is you know, there's, there's a lot of like focus on the mental aspect. I think that's good. Yeah. But what about the head guy? Big fat dude. <laughs> he was huge. But he was getting a lot of he was female banging attention. Like, banging like two or three girls a day. You know? <laughs> I don't because it's all here, you know, it's all about the confidence he had in himself. He's an excellent speaker. That's right. He could connect on an emotional level with the women. He had a sense of humour. Yeah. He, and it makes you see them differently. Big you flat, know, It's dude. like the, sh the shell, the um, out exterior kind of melts away. Yeah. I heard him putting his banana in something. To some degree. Backpacker girl. So let's, let's just keep this G-rated, shall we? It is. All right, so I just wanted to share that with those who are interested in checking Tantric yoga, sex out. And we're going to dinner, so we'll see you at dinner soon. Taste removes dust and grime, roots of vegetables, and that's the true spirit. We're the only ones in here at the moment, nice. but it is early. Nice. Let's check out what we got here. Let's check out the menu. We've got some flowers. See, I learnt Chinese in high school for three years. So I'm gonna get that one there, the <laughs> steamed rice. This one here, the McDougal special. And we've got to carp, a funny carp the fuck up. Bonus down here. Um, so yeah, so I learned it for three years, but Thank I don't you. remember any of it. Oh, well, I remember a little bit, but... They're going to wish they didn't have this bottomless rice thing. <laughs> We're going to eat it up. Oh, very nice. Beautiful, thank you. Carbonate. Carbonate. Free to try some.